You know what pissed me off most of is why the heck did she take one dragon, yeah? <clears throat> when they knew there was a fucking huge army and there could be potential other dragons and there could be potential other stuff that could be in the way. They took one dragon. Okay, so let's just say they only had one dragon, which they didn't, but they just say they did. That one dragon <clears throat> that the old lady took, yeah? I don't really know names, I'm really, not really 100% into it, but I kind of am. She, she, she took the dragon, she fired a bunch of enemies, yeah? She, she used the flame on him. It was great, yeah. But then, so she's battling that guy in the skies. What's his face? The fucking king, yeah? And she's got the king where exactly where she needs the king to be. And she takes the king down. I'm like, great. Okay, so the lady dragon, she takes the king down. Sweet. But then she sees another enemy that's a humongous dragon. It looks like slower, obviously, but it could be powerful, which it actually was, because it surprised them, didn't it? Why didn't she just take off after taking down the king? Why did she have to go for a turn around and go for him, the guy with the patch? I don't understand it. It really didn't piss me off. And you know when you watch a, a show or a movie and you say, why would they do that? No one in their right mind would ever do that. After being in a fucking combat fight, they wouldn't even go in for a second round, you know? They would go lick their wounds and go somewhere else. But no, they had to go back. She had to go back. She couldn't help herself. And I was just like, the storyline just pissed me off, you know? So I do love the dragon show, whatever it's called. The Game of, Drag Game of Thrones, Game of Dragons. Dragon, I can't remember the fucking House of Dragons. I like the show, yeah? But there's just parts of the show that just really do, like... I hate that shit. Like, why would they do that? I, and, and plus, she was a good character, too. So to take her out of the franchise or the, the show pisses us off too. Unless she isn't dead. Unless she is mir miraculously like alive. She's like half deformed. She's like all burned up or broken or she's like, oh, they're still here. And she's still alive. And she's like, you know, just her head can move and her whole of her body's paralyzed. We don't know. You know, but I'm, I, I'm sure. But maybe the dragon broke her fall. I doubt it. That's like 10,000 feet high or some shit. Some crazy height. Anyways. If you did see the Game of Thrones or the House of Dragons, whatever it is, let me know for season three, chapter episode four, yeah, yeah, that's it. And uh, if you what you thought about it, and what you what you, yeah, you probably thought the same thing I did, or similar. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. See ya.